um, uh, because of the network problem, I I prepared I prepared from last night. But since I'm a little bit discouraged because of the network problem, uh, I continued this morning uh, after uh, checking the network connectivity. Today it's a little bit stable, uh, so I hope uh, uh, there will not be any uh, problem during um, <clears throat> our study. And I will start my screen. Okay, today Bible uh, study is uh, is going to be from the scripture taken from Romans chapter 15, verse one to six. I think all of us have Bible with us. And before we uh, start reading the <coughs> Bible, I would like to uh, mention a little bit about the background of the Romans uh, letters, to uh, uh, Paul's letters uh, to the Romans. This is the sixth book of the New Testament, and this is the longest and the <clears throat> doctrinally most significant of St. Paul's the Apostle writing. This is one of the basis of uh, Martin uh, Luther um, uh, justifications of uh, you know, Christ also. The, uh, and it was probably com uh, composed at uh, Corinth in the town of Corinth in about uh, 57 uh, common era or AD. And uh, this uh, letter was written by Paul to the uh, Romans before he visited the, you know, the Romans province. Uh, so the primary theme running through this Paul's letters to the Romans is the revelations of God's righteousness in his, um, in his plan for salvation and also contains several specific exhortation. So, uh, today's study is one such exhortation. It's about lifting and supporting uh, each other. So uh, I specifically choose uh, these uh, uh, these portions, uh, keeping in mind our present situations and you know uh, the conditions of our present world and how much uh, we need each other uh, to uh, uh, support each other and to help each other uh, in this time of you know, the difficulties that we are facing. And so, I think uh, since most of, most of us here are uh, MISO, I think we can use MISO also. So uh, simultaneously, we can use uh, both MISO and uh, English, whichever is you know convenient and comfortable for us, and um, uh, we will read. Uh, I request um, three, since uh, four of us are here, I request uh, uh, the listener, <laughs> the three participants, to please read uh, two Bible verse each. Uh, we'll start from uh, Sister Puyi. Please read verse uh, one and two, and Brother Mark verse three and four, and um, Brother, uh, uh, five and six. So, so uh, sister, can you please uh, start reading the uh, Bibles from Romans 15, verse one and two? Sister Pui? Yes, uh, Romans uh, chapter 15, verse one and two. We who are strong ought to bear with the failings of the weak and not to please ourselves. Each of us should please our neighbors for their good, to build them up. For even Christ did not please himself, but, as it is written, the insults of those who insult you have fallen on me. For everything that was written in the past was written to teach us, so that through the endurance taught in the scriptures and the encouragement they provide, we might have hope. Um. May the, may the God who gives endurance and encouragement give you the same attitude of mind toward, toward each other that Jesus Christ had, so that with one mind and one voice you, you may glorify 
the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you so much, uh, brothers and sisters. Uh, so uh, we will use uh, the inductive Bible study uh, style. So we will start with the observations. And for the observations, the first question is who or the main characters or people involved in this uh, passage from verse uh, one to six, who are the people or the uh, the main characters that involved that we can see? If, please, please feel free to on your mic uh, if you don't have any other background noise. So please feel free to on the uh, mic uh, instead of you know <laughs> writing it in the chat. I think it will be more convenient since we are less in number. So please contribute who are the people involved or the main characters involved in this verse. Yes, uh, Christ is written. And yes, sister, and thank you. I, people who are strong, people who mm -hmm. are weak. Yes, that's very true. God also there, verse six, mm -hmm. God. Yes. In verse two, we have neighbors also. Neighbors. Mm -hmm. Yes. And um, in verse four, it talks about uh, you know a little bit of history, the uh, the scriptures uh, that you know that was uh, written in the past. Uh, so I think we can also include that part since it's going to be uh, uh, important for this study. God of patience. Now there's two yes. times God is mentioned. God of patience. yes, yes. Verse thank you five. brother and also father also there less mm. yes mm. we don't have the whole spirit here father is jesus christ father <laughs> so 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 those are the main uh characters that was involved that were involved in this uh passage we, uh, oh, we have we, we. pardon we, I think we as mentioned several times, right? We, strong people. Oh, we and strong, strong people, yeah. same, right? Okay. So, Meal. So, yeah. yeah. mm. Verse. But me can be a part of the we also. Mm -hmm. Verse three. That fell on me. Mm, thank you, uh, brother and sister. Yes, uh, I think uh, with that, I uh, we include... Uh, most of the characters that was involved in this passage, uh, the people who are strong, the people who are weak, uh, Jesus Christ, our neighbor, uh, the Father God, uh, you know, and then uh, the peoples that was uh, uh, written, the, the history of, uh, you know, uh, people that was written in the past uh, scriptures. So, and is there any repeated words that we can uh, see here? Brother Mark have mentioned we. I think, brother, you have mentioned we, right? Verse two, Christ. And Christ is also, Jesus Christ is also mentioned, I think, more than yes, once. Yes, yes, that's true. Thank you, brother. Jesus Christ is mentioned. We is mentioned. Endurance. Yes, yes, that is, that is very good. Thank you, sister. And four and five. Mm -mm. Yes, yes. Encouragement also, right? Yes, In verse four, four and five. Yes, encouragement also. So. Yeah. Written is also uh, repeated. This is also repeated. Please. Yes, yes. Hey, welcome, brother Zotia. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Mm. So those are the repeated words that we can see with the uh, one of the most important repeated words are, uh, you know, endurance, encouragement, we, uh, we, the strong people, uh, you know, those are the, um, and Christ, those are the uh, one of the uh, important repeated words that we can see here. And is there any time element when, where, is there any time element that we can see here? Mm -hmm. 
written in the past. Yes, past yes. Is yes, yes, thank you. So that is a very good observation. Yes, written in the past. The past was important. Was yes, important here. So uh I want to ask um uh, brother brother uh, uh bro brother Mark, can we use uh uh, you know, verse five may. Can we use it as a reference for the future tense? You know, the patients, you know, verse In verse five. five. Yes. Should grant you to be like. Yes. Yes. Yeah. This is a wish. This is a wish for the future. Yes. So yes. yes. By connotation, we can mm -hmm. say it's yes. Things for future. Yeah. Yes. Thank. <laughs> because this is thank a wish. you so much. Mm. Okay. Is there any more time element or uh, this thing that we have missed? I think we are, since the passage is uh, not that vast, I think we cover it yeah. well, and all I think of us. Sister, Sister Marilyn, if we go along yes. with that same logic, if we go along with that same logic, verse 6 yes. also there, in, I'm using this uh, KJV, Says, mm. uh, that ye may with one mind so that ye may now the word may mm. also has not happened yet so that it will happen that okay, is okay. a wish again so verse six is a wish for uh, unity in the future yes mm. okay that means it talks about the future yes. right so, okay thank you so much and uh, okay, is there any LM, uh, any command in this uh, verse? Uh, this will be the last questions for the observation. Is there any command that we have seen here? I think the second verse, uh, it is a kind of command that yes. has been given. Second mm. verse. Mm. It's of us to please our neighbor for the good, to build them up. I think it is a commandment. Mm. Thank you so much, uh, brother. Well Any more? Command? Uh, sister, verse one, you ought to bear with the faith. Yes, yes. Uh, yes, that's very, uh, uh, very good observation. Uh, thank you, sister. Actually, the Bible verse uh, started from verse one, it started with command. So thank you so much, uh, sister. Any more command that we have seen besides verse one and two? Can, uh, can we say uh, verse four, you know, as a command to learn from the past? Brother Mark, I think I should ask it again, Brother Mark. <laughs> yeah, I think it is not a direct command, but it is a wish again that okay. patients and comfort might have hope. So, uh, yeah, it's not a direct command like uh, explicitly like verse first and the second as mentioned. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's thank you so much. So uh, the Bible uh, passage start with uh, command. That means the first command is we have to uh, bear. The strong have to bear with the weak, and another one is that we have to please our neighbor uh, for his good, to build him up. So those are. Uh, the two most important um, command that we see here from the verse one and uh, verse two. So, <clears throat> is, so uh, we will continue with uh, this interpretation and the observation part also, I think we can still do uh, along, uh, we can still continue along with this interpretation. So for the interpretation, the first question is what does it mean to bear? You know what, um, when uh, the verse four, uh, verse one, talk about ought to bear so what did it mean according to you um sister can it be you know to have to have patience uh, and uh, understanding yes yes that's that's very actually that is very true sister thank you so much um 
I think historically, sister, the Roman Church, the letter yes. that was written, it was a diverse population, diverse congregation, the Jews, yes. the Gentiles, uh, slaves, mm. and free people, all that are mm. part of that. And so different communities coming together, understanding each other, bear each other, tolerating each other, despite their cultural and uh, ethnic differences and also their citizenship differences, right? Some of them might, might be you know, just from slaves and all that. Uh, mm -hmm. I think uh, that's what it is to try to understand each other, even with different communities, different languages, even perhaps. Okay, thank you so much, uh, 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 brother. So as uh, both of you uh, mentioned a very good point, so, uh, as Brother Mark have mentioned, the Romans uh, church during Paul's time, uh, they were, uh, you know, uh, they were kind of uh, famous because of their faith in God. So even in even in uh, chapter one verse eight, if we read it, uh, you know, uh, Paul has um, thanked them uh, because your faith is being reported all over the world. So um, uh, you know, in faith, in the in terms of faith, I think they are doing well, this Romans uh, church. So, so that's why uh, the Romans, um, you know, letter is full of exhortation, specific exhortation. So this exhortation is also, as I've mentioned in the um, introduction, it's about, uh, you know, uplifting each other, bearing each other. So um, <clears throat> in Galatians chapter uh, 6, verse 2, we have carry each other burden. And in this way, you will fulfill the law of Christ. In word we have bear in that to lift, to pick up and carry a weight, start building up others, and uh, you know, we will find yourself built up. So those are what uh uh, bear ought to bear uh, uh, actually a uh, mean from another point of view what you also mentioned is also very um, very very true uh, thank you so much for that and another word is um, another point is um, what does the phrase let each of us please his neighbors mean in verse uh, two we have another command that is uh, each of us should please his neighbor for his good to build him up. So what does it mean? Are we going to be a people ple uh, pleaser? You know, are we going to be a very passive kind of patient uh, people that, you know, people can, uh, you know, uh, people, people can control us and, you know, let us do whatever they want us to do. So what does it actually mean? Let each of us please his neighbor. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Sister Ma Engi, Brother Mara, also they have joined. Uh, thank you so much. And um, if you can hear me, uh, what I'll request uh, Sister Ma Engi to first talk, you know, uh, tell us about uh, he, her opinion regarding, uh, you know, the meaning of let each of us please his neighbors. Sister? Ah, uh, yes, sir. I think. Um... Uh, this is uh, like um, how will I say? I think it is like uh, not to not 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 to when when uh, when it says please, I I think it the 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 writer so it means like helping or like supporting our neighbors so as to uh, you know like help them help them in building their life or so as to help them in you know, like uh, making ma making their life or whatever the things they need uh, in supporting them. I think this place doesn't mean like, yeah, we have to be like uh, under them or we have to, to, to try to make them happy or something like that. I don't think it, it it's mean like that. That's how I perceive it. It is like simply um, like supporting our neighbors and like not, uh, not against our neighbors or not to, you know, like not to, to have a... Um, a clash uh, with the neighbors. Yes. 
Yes, thank you so much, uh, sister. Um, uh, please feel free to contribute. Uh, what does it mean according to us? When we read the passage, what did it tell us? Uh, you know, what it means to us when we read to it? Mm, sister, I think if uh, we are to understand that second verse, we have to continue reading the third one. So yes, yes. Um, I think uh, in continuation to the second verse, I think in the third verse, we have seen that for events, Christ did not please himself. So it means, you know, it talks about that the sacrifice that we have to make to our fellow human being, to our neighbors and all, I think. This is uh, how I perceive it because see, it, if we read in the third verse, so, uh, and even if you look at the life of Christ, he uh, did not come to the world to be served. He come here to serve. So, uh, you know, if we are to follow that logic, I think we have to, uh, you know, make the sacrifice we are able to make to our neighbors as a uh, follower of Christ. I think this is how I perceive it. Yes, thank you. That's very correct, brother. Thank you so much. Any mm. more, uh, uh, any more point that you want to add? Brother and sister, I, I completely agree with uh, Brother Rompea. Uh, that was mm -hmm. what I was, <laughs> yeah, that was what I had in mind. Um, one thing I'd like to add is the word please. Uh, I think the word please uh, does not mean what it does mean and what it does not mean. The word please does not mean to be so liberal in giving them everything that they desire. Yes, at the end of the second verse, we also see for his good edification. Uh, yes. For his better man for the better man of that person mm -hmm. we need to please them we need to as brother Rompea said we need to sacrifice just as christ sacrificed so the word please here embedded in this word please there is also many many layers of meaning not just to make them happy temporarily but also sometimes uh, do something for them and pray for them things that may even anger them but ultimately it will turn out so that they will be happy because we, or those who are uh, pleasing, those who are performing that role for the betterment of the neighbors, they are pleasing in that way, not in a worldly way, not giving them quick instant uh, gratification, but this is more like a sacrificing, continual, continuous, even if it requires rebuke, even if it requires discipline, right? Even if it requires all kinds of uh, uh, mentoring aspects i think mm -hmm. it is included in the word please so that they will be less verse uh, less and uh, that they will be blessed and edified how is it mm -hmm. edified or blessed? for his for his good oh, for his good yeah. yeah well said brother uh, that is very true um and uh, as brother ramte has also mentioned uh, regarding the sacrifice from our side. Uh, so uh, being a selfish being, we are born as a selfish being from our, our mother womb. So it, it must be very uh, difficult, you know, to achieve uh, what um, um, Paul has mentioned regarding pleasing our neighbor uh, from, uh, you know, from the, from the men, from a man point of view. But uh, these things can be done uh, with Christ, with Christ alone, uh, that that we have to remember uh, while uh, we are reading this also that we have to you know um, <clears throat> we have to have the um, presence of the Holy Spirit in us to you know make sacrifice from our side also and uh, <clears throat> actually this is um, a very similar with Paul's uh, letters to the Philippians. Uh, it's written in Philippians chapter two verse three and four. Let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem others better than himself. Let each of you look out not only for his own interest, but also for the interest of others. So um, uh, I think this part my, um, uh, uh, regarding you know, mind, let each esteem 
others better than himself. I think from a man's point of view, this must be very good because we are taught, you know, we are taught we are motivated in schools and all, you know, to think that, you know, uh, to think that we can also do, we can also be better than other people, uh, in, especially in, uh, in our educations. We are taught to think uh, better than other people. We are taught to think that we are, uh, we can do it, uh, we can achieve uh, greater things than others. So um, it must go against with, you know, the nature of, um, uh, the nature of uh, the, uh, we, the, the nature of how we are taught, um, not in a spiritual, but in, you know, another area of life. But here, it's um, in spiritual life. We have to uh, uh, we have to think that others are better than you know uh, 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 others are better than ourselves. In this is the uh, this is um, you know uh, 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 how, how to say this is the this is uh, this is the act of to you know to be humble uh, to be humble. So and um this portion too let each of you look out not only for his own interest but also for the interest of other so this is um uh, actually uh, what it lets each of us please his neighbor uh, means in uh, uh means that we can also learn from another letters uh, from uh paul's to the philippians so uh, we can see that paul doesn't mean uh, does not mean being a man pleaser but as Brother Max have mentioned, we have to please accord for their edification, for their improvement. And another point is that, um, how did Jesus set an example in pleasing others? You know, we uh, when we read the story of uh, Jesus' life, uh, we see so many examples. So if you want to mention any uh, examples uh, that um, Jesus have done, uh, Jesus have set, uh, during his life, um, uh, you know, you can also um, mention that part or from the verse itself in verse um, um, three, verse three, uh, we see that for even Christ did not please himself, but as it is written, the insult of those who insult you have fallen on me. So uh, how did, you know, according to you, how did Jesus set an example in pleasing others? Uh, hello, Sister Marilyn. Yes, yes. Brother Mara, go ahead. Okay, um, let me come in. And I would like to uh, also answer this second or first question. I don't know. Yeah, the previous one. Yeah, I yeah, no problem, no problem. Up, yeah, on time. I can come up. Yeah. So let me uh, highlight uh, the point like this. Um, pleasing others here. Uh, when we read... Uh, verse 2 instead we should all please our brothers and sisters for their own good in order to build them up in the faith here we please them not you know they are just benefited we please them not no, no uh, that they will you know uh, they will be satisfied or you know they will get some help or they will you know have I know not like that but we please them in order that uh, they are built up in the faith. Mm. So not just helping them, but we help them. We please them in order to build them up in the faith. I think uh, we should not miss this point. We help them. We please them. We support them that they grow in their faith, that we build them up in their faith. We please them that, you know, they become closer to God. We please them that they will see, you know, Christ in our works and, you know, they will become mature. I think this is a very important point to mention. Not, not just pleasing, not just making somebody happy, not just you know helping them that doesn't you know that is good but here you know the last verse of you know verse two in order to help them up to build them up in the faith 
I think that is one very important, you know, point to mention. And question number three, how did, how did Jesus set an example in pleasing others? Okay. Um, <clears throat> we see so many Jesus' pictures uh, in the Bible, in the New Testament, especially Matthew, Mark, Luke, and all. And this question is very related to with uh, question number two. Yes, of course, Jesus, he pleases, you know, other peoples, but not, you know, he helped them. He, you know, pleased them that, you know, they are getting inspired or, you know, they are just benefited or, you know, they, are, they become happy, not like that. And we also see Jesus, you know, scolding the people when he's, when he's called, when he rebuke, and when he entered inside the church and he scolded them, the people who were living inside. You see, there he doesn't try to please them, but instead he's scolding them so badly. So when Jesus, he pleased, you know, People also, you know, see that he is God. You know, when whatever Jesus do performs, when uh, whatever Jesus set an example, it is also comes along with, you know, physical and spiritual that is related to the faith. Mm. Not just pleasing them. He pleased them so that they also see who is Jesus Christ, what is faith. And yeah, I think this is how Jesus set the example for other people, not just pleasing them. Yeah, not just, you know, to make them happy, not just, you know, physical um, benefit. Okay, thank you, sister. That will be all. Uh, thank you so much, uh, brother. It was uh, a wonderful point. Uh, one uh, that made me think of, you know, a, 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 a saying, a one Japanese saying that, you know, it don't give a fish to the beggar. Uh, instead, teach them how to, you know, catch the fish so they'll never go hungry again. So I think it is uh, quite similar with that saying also. Thank you so much. So is there anyone that wants to uh, talk about more in this, uh, in this question, regarding this question? Or the previous question also, uh, we can all go hand in hand. Any more points that you want to add? Oh, I think. Oh, sister, am I audible? <laughs> yes, uh, brother. Brother Zote. Yes. Brother Zote. Yes. Uh, please go ahead. We can hear you. Okay. Uh, sister, uh, uh, how is uh, our time? Is it uh, tight or we have quite uh, some time? No, no, we still have, uh, we you still have, have time. Questions. No, in, yes, yes, uh, we still have time. Don't worry, because in Siaha, in Siaha EGF Bible study, you know, we have, uh, we have lots of time. We make ourselves lots of time. So please uh, feel free. Okay, thank you. Yes, nice to see Brother Mara again. Others also. I don't have a camera right now, so I could not. For that, and uh, I want to the previous question: How to please our? Uh, practically, it is difficult to please those who are around us, especially our neighbors. You know, sometimes we just don't talking to each other. Uh, let's like we first, you know. Sometimes we don't feel like talking to one another. You know. There is a tendency to like each other so much because we have the different opinions and all. Even the Bible knows about so in proverb, even in also proverb, there uh, ten ten points it talks about neighbor. So I think Brother Zotia has some network problem. Okay, he's coming back. 
Uh, am I audible? Yes, 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 yes. Go ahead. Okay, I want to continue. Uh, so, uh, the only way we can please to, uh, our neighbor thing is uh, like when we sacrifice our and that when you don't want to show off and all in you know, normal life competing with our neighbors really this is true house like only us our family members also this uh what happened in the so if we want to the only way that we can do another in crime uh correct like character is like only we put ourselves lowly like sister in had just mentioned the pre bible verse that uh, we consider ourselves lower than others lower than our neighbors I... I think we lost brothers out there again Hello, bro brother. I have to listen. Thank you. Yes. Yes. I think you, uh, you don't have you don't have stable network, right? Hello. Yeah. Okay. I'll be happy to listen. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no. No. You can still I'll contribute. To, no problem yeah. at all. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And that is uh, also a very uh, um, very good point that you made. And um. We, uh, we know that uh, Jesus set an example in pleasing others by dying dying on the cross for us, for us, for all of us, uh, you know. And this is uh, written nicely in uh, Philippians chapter 2, verse 5 to 8. In your relationship with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, who being in very nature, God did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage, Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man. He humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on the cross. I think this um, is the perfect uh, way to, um, you know, a perfect example to say, uh, to explain how Jesus um, pleased uh, others. Uh, you know, in order to edify them, in order to improve them, or in order to provide them uh, with eternal life. So um, uh, I think uh, we will um, uh, go ahead to the next questions of the interpretation. Okay, in what other example uh, or characters can we find from the Bible who please or bear other? I've mentioned in the beginning in the observations that, you know, the past written um, uh, the past written scriptures was important for us to learn. So uh, it was also um, um, mentioned it here uh, that we have to learn it from the past scriptures uh, so that uh, we might have, uh, you know, endurance and encouragement. Uh, so uh, can you please share us any, you know, the, your favorite characters or yeah, the favorite examples in the Bible, uh, which uh, you think uh, you know, um, is an example for uh, pleasing or bearing for others. That means, uh, you know, sacrificing or helping other, those, all those stories can be included, I think. So if you have any favorite story or examples that you want to share. Uh, sister, am I audible? Yes, 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 please. Yeah, Go I, ahead. yeah, I think the first example can be seen from the life of Abraham and the life of Lot. So, yes. you know, um, um, you, we know that, you know, the, uh, when uh, there was an agreement between, this agreement between the men of, you know, uh, Abraham and the Lord, they decided to, you know, separate. So it was Abraham who made the sacrifice and then uh, who, made, who made, you know, who had given the opportunity for Lot to choose the land who, where he wanted to live. And then 
we know the life of Lot and that, you know, they, their life has been just the opposite. Um, and Abraham chooses uh, the place where he can, I think, worship God. And then Lot, uh, Lot extend, you know, uh, the place where he lived to that, you know, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. So he, you know, where he can, and then he, you know, that the rest of the story. And it is the, uh, and we all know how that he became the uh, ancestor of the, you know, Moabite channel. So I think we, what we can see is by sacrificing, you know, ourselves in pleasing others, you know, uh, uh, I think uh, it is uh, very biblical. I think you can see it in the life of uh, Abraham as well. So there are many examples which can be given. And the last, I was about to, uh, you know, participate in the third uh, questions, but the network was very unstable. Yes. So even when Christ came to the world, you know, he pleases the other people, not for the instant gratification, as uh, Brother Mark has mentioned. We can see in when he was uh, entering the, you know, Jerusalem as a king. And then, you know, the next Friday, what happened? The people demanded his crucifixion. So I think uh, he, Christ always look at the eternity. So, you know, the people who has made the sacrifice, eh, even from the uh, Old Testament, I think, when we look at their life, those are the people who look at the eternity, not the instant gratification. I think Lord was, uh, after the instant gratification and the you know, material prosperity very much, I think it has caused the life of his wife as well, I think. So I I think that example, I don't know how to sum up this, but uh, my, maybe my, uh, the manner in which I express may be very, you know, uh, difficult to assemble, but I think uh, uh, a, it, the people who has made the sacrifice to please the other people are the people who always, I think, look at the eternity, not the instant gratification or the uh, worldly, you know, material prosperity. I think this is how oh, that I can sum it, up, sum it up. Thank you so much, Brother Ramte. That was a very good point. Actually, I think while you are, uh, you know, speaking, uh, what comes into my mind is that the re we can see the instant, uh, the result of the instant gratifications, and you know, uh, the results of uh, you know uh, the uh, the the result of the instant gratifications and the result of uh, you know uh, the endurance I should say the endurance one because um, uh, uh, Abraham is uh, you know very. Uh, humble himself to Lot. I, th I, I think Lot is his nephew. So he is humble himself in front of his nephew, who he bring along with him. Actually, it's not that, uh, you know, he's following Lot, Lot is following him, but still uh, he humble himself and let him choose a better land. Uh, and, uh, you know, as you have mentioned, Lot, uh, yeah, Lot is going after the instant gratifications and we know how he end up and how, we know how uh, you know Abraham and Ab, he is the the father you know the roots of uh, you know um, uh, the father of uh, many many people and uh, the father uh, who brings uh, you know Jesus Christ uh, for us. So I think uh, that is a very good example that you have given, uh, Brother Ramtea. Any more any more that example that you want to share from any other participants? Okay, Sister Merlin. Yes, brother, go ahead. I would like to bring uh, the example on the life of Joseph and his uh, brothers. Yeah. Yes. Mm, yeah. As we all know, the story of Joseph, when he was, uh, uh, he's the second youngest uh, among the brothers, and he was sold by his own brothers, you know, <clears throat> to the merchants. And, you know, and you know the time passed by and the time you know 
uh, came when he was already the governor of uh, Egypt. So, and his brothers, they came to Joseph, you know, they begged him for rice and for something to eat because they were starved. There was no, there was nothing to eat. But, you know, Joseph, you know, uh, he knew that they were his own brothers. But here, I love this very particular story. From a human point of view, it must be very difficult to please or to bear his brothers who has sold them, you know, uh, to the other places and, and again by his own brothers. I think this is the perfect example that we could take out from the Bible as well. Yeah, how he pleases, how he bear, how he loves. You know his brothers and the, his families. That that was a very good uh, story and good example that you have given, uh, brother Mara. Thank you so much uh, for that. Is there any exam any more examples that you want to contribute, uh, sister Mayangi, uh, sister Tanpui, uh, brother Zautia? If you can if you can manage to uh, you know contribute. Any more point that you want to add? Any more example? Oh, sir. Okay. In, yeah, Brother Ramdia and uh, Brother Mara have said what uh, actually was, uh, was on my mind regarding uh, those two people, Abraham and Halevit. They were the person who, who came into my mind first. And then the other thing was like uh, the Queen Esther. Uh, I don't know whether it can um, comes under this uh, interpretation number four or not, but what how, how it comes to my mind is like how she, uh, Queen Esther, how she um, make use of her power, like to save her people and God's own people. And then she, she has sacrificed, she has bear uh, all those difficulties and all those dangers that could have happened to her. So there are certain rules that she have to follow as a queen, but despite the, the rules she have, uh, you know, like she has to follow, she overcome those, um, uh, how will I say, those are laws that she has to follow. And then she, she somehow go against the law, but then she was with, uh, you know, like God was with her. And then she, she saved her people, God's people, uh, from the sufferings that they, they, they are about to face or the problems that they are about to face. I think that is the life of, um, you know, another good example that um, I can relate, uh, somehow relate to this uh, interpretation other than uh, what Brother uh, Ramtea and Brother Mara have said. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, sister. That is a very wonderful example. Once again, I think uh, the Queen Esther have, you know, thinking about the long-term gratifications, you know, instead of that uh, instant grat gratification. So thank you so much for that. And, um, uh, you know, uh, another example can be Zonathan who didn't please himself, but did what was good for David uh, because of, you know, in order to, save uh, David lives. Uh, he did so many things behind his own father back. So I think that can be another example. And if you have a uh, brother Mara have mentioned Joseph who kindly forgave his brother and gently encouraged them to remember that God is in control. And as brother Ramti have mentioned, Abraham who allowed Lot to take his pick of the land and didn't argue. So those are uh, in the, some examples that we have, we can see uh, from, uh, from the scripture. And um, that, that alone is from the you know Old Testament. Uh, we have so, so many other uh, story also, I think, from the uh, New Testament, if you study it. And what I want to talk about, another point is regarding the, uh, the chapter, uh, verse four is that, you know, the importance of studying scriptures. I think it tells us, you know, to mm, the importance of reading and studying, uh, you know, having a Bible study, I think it, um, it uh it talks about uh in this uh, verse four i think so uh what we are doing is also a very good example of you know what is uh what is um what is mentioned in verse four uh, that we have to study the 
um, the, you know, the past written scripture. So I think um, that that are the interpretations, questions that I have um, prepared and uh, we will be going to the, uh, no, I, this is the last one. Okay, so what is the main goal for bearing and encouraging each other? Uh, Okay, what we are talking about uh, the you know the instant gratification, the long term gratification, those things we are talking about, and so what are the main goals according to this uh, passage? Uh, you know what could be the main goal for bearing and encouraging each other. So many of you have mentioned uh, you know um, uh, many points, uh, but if we are supposed to. Uh, concentrate on the main goals. So what could it be? Yes, sister. I think uh, we have some direct answer for that in uh, verse four and five. That is uh, yes. so that we might have, uh, ha have hope and that we will have the spirit of unity among us. Yes, that is very true. Thank you so much, sister. Any more point that you want to add from other? Okay, in Romans uh, uh, 15, verse six, uh, we have seen so that uh, in the last uh, verse, we have seen that so that with one mind and one voice, you may glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. So. Uh, the, that is another uh, goal, uh, you know, the end game, <laughs> should I say, the end game, uh, end game for this um, uh, bearing and encouraging each other uh, 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 so that true, uh, you know, uh, true supporting and helping each other and encouraging each other, people will see that we are, you know, we are the disciple of uh, Jesus and uh, through that, uh, they will be able, they will, we may be able to glorify, you know, uh, the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, the the immediate purpose um, uh, in this is the edification of the body of Christ. We are the body of Christ. All of us are the body of Christ. Uh, so that is um, uh, we have uh, seen uh, so many examples uh, in the regarding, uh, you know, uh, this uh, body of Christ. So we are part of it and. So our immediate, the immediate purpose of this bearing and encouraging each other, it could be the improvement and the edifications of us, you know, of those who are present here today or those who are in USI ministry or in our church or, you know, whoever is um, uh, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, those uh, is the immediate purpose. And the ultimate purpose is, as I've mentioned in uh, uh, the last, uh, as it was mentioned in the last verse, uh, the glory of God. And, and that is the ultimate purpose. And the ultimate result for us is, you know, peace, joy, and hope. So uh, those are, um, uh, you know, the goal, the end game for uh, bearing and encouraging each other uh, so that people will know that we are, um, we are the disciple of Christ. So those, uh, that is the end of our interpretations. And we will go to the application. We have three questions in application. And the first one is, you know, uh, some of you have mentioned also already, how can we bear each other as a Christian? What can we do uh, in order to bear each other as a Christian? In a practical way, what can we do? Please feel free to share. Uh, sister, I want to try again. Yes, 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 please go ahead. I like sharing. Am I audible? Yes, you are okay. audible. Okay, thank you. Um, see, uh, in uh, real life, in the again, uh, I think this is all real life. Uh, we have many uh, bad uh, what uh, the bad the bad. We all have the bad character, you know, like the way we talk, the way we do. Sometimes, like uh, for example, I used to talk like uh, giving orders most of the time, and my sister.
I think we have lost Brother Zotea again. <laughs> His signal is very bad, I think. Oh, I'll be happy to use it again. Uh, go ahead, Brother Zotea, we can hear you. Brother? Uh, uh, oh, I think it's okay. My network is a little bit weak. I think I'll. Thank you. Uh, okay, okay, no problem. Then, Brother Mark, I uh, I think I should um request Brother Mark how in a practical way how can we bear each other as a Christian brother or as a EGF member or as a member in the USI ministry how can we bear each other? That's uh. This question can be answered from different angles. Uh, uh, yeah, um, to bear each other's infirmities, uh, infirmities of the weak. Oh, it takes patience. We need to be very patient uh, with our brothers and sisters who have fallen, who are fallen or who have gone astray and who are in the wrong and who need help. I think patience and sympathy these are very important qualities uh, that uh, we have to do. Now, practically, that might include counseling. They may include reaching out to them. They may include praying for them. They may include conscious effort not to be easily offended by them, by them even when they hurt us. So uh, I think uh, there are many, many elements that uh, we can talk about, uh, bearing each other and also very crucially to volunteer ourselves to help them when we know they needed help whether it be spiritual or whether it be financial whether it be intellectual uh, psychological all kinds of help that they need if we know they are in the miry mud we need to volunteer ourselves to pluck them out uh, like the jew says you know from the the fire that they are in I think from the grave danger that they are walking, if we know they are uh, being uh, indoctrinated by false beliefs and doctrines. So that, that way, right? And to some people, yes, yes, we need to pray consistently and hope and never give up on them that someday. And also that includes practically inviting them again and again and again. <laughs> you see, what am I doing yes. here every Sunday? I keep sending invitation to many, many brothers and sisters for the Siha EGF also and for other programs. I know some of them won't come. They don't give, they don't care too much about it, but I did it anyway in the hope, just the off chance that the Holy Spirit might bring them, right? So there are so various angles uh, that we can explore and uh, to succinctly put it, yes, you need to sacrifice yourself. You need to humble yourself. You need to know you are a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ inviting them for the wonderful feast and if they don't come one time keep inviting them over and over enter into their lives and if they don't want to pray for them and someday that the lord may touch and bring them back in the fold thank you so much that is a very good point a very practical point that we can do as a christian we can do as an egf you know to bear each other uh, thank you so much, uh, Brother Mark. Is there any one uh, who wants to contribute regarding this met, uh, this question? Okay, Sister Merlin. Yes, please go ahead. Mm. Okay, I think this is a very important question uh, uh, for Christians. Um, I think a Christian life is, I you know, a life of bearing each other yeah, as long as we are here on earth. Yes, we have to, you know, <laughs> keep up, you know, the good work for others and to bear each other up, mm. bearing each other. And uh, Brother Mark have uh, shared so many points and um, <clears throat> he just shared what, even me, what I just, you know, did or what I'm just doing. Even you know, today, uh, last night, I have invited somebody, some friends, you know, my own friends. And they said, okay, they will come and join. And even the previous, and you know, some other, the previous Sundays also, I think some, we, you know, sometimes we have newcomers, you know, even right now I have just sent, 
you can still come in. It is not late. So <clears throat> I think this is also practical. Yeah, pragmatic examples. Yeah, you have to be, have patience. Uh, they may not give response automatically, but if we do not give up, yeah, if we still strive for work and have patience with them, loving them, encouraging them, I think that's how we can bear. And even in the EUs, even in the EGLs, I think um, many of our leaders, I think in this particular area, I think they are fulfilling, yeah. They could really bear, you know, our brothers and our sisters, even among the executive leaders, committee leaders, among, you know, EGF leaders, sometimes, you know, <clears throat> program is coming up, we approach them, they said yes, but doesn't turn up, we have to, you know, manage, you know, keep on inviting them, but they don't really come up, they say yes, but sometimes it is difficult. Yeah, it is difficult, but we are keep on, keep on going on. And that's how you know, slowly they come and they, you know, feel comfortable slowly. I think uh, that are some of the examples, you know, how can we be, you know, our, with our other fellow human beings as a Christian community. Thank you, Sister. Thank, thank you so much, uh, brother. You have mentioned a very important point regarding patience endurance enough. Uh, that is a, a very important point that we have seen in verse four. So that true endurance or true patience and the encouragement of the scripture, we might have hope. So I think uh, uh, one thing that we have to learn uh, here is that uh, we have to be very patient when uh, you know, we are motivating, when we are encouraging, when uh, we are bearing uh, our, uh, you know, our friends um, who, uh, whom, who might be having a problem or who might be uh, you know, um, uh, going through something. So we have to be uh, very uh, patient in dealing with them. Thank you so much, uh, Brother Mark and Brother Mara for mentioning uh, about that point. And uh, you, know, you have uh, come up with a very important points. Uh, I think uh, 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 we will move on. I will sum it up uh, regarding this point, and I think we'll move on to the next uh, point. You know, uh, we can first we can do prayer, right? We can pray for each other. We can share uh, the scripture to address our weaknesses. Uh, we can come alongside and encourage someone we know is uh, struggling with something, or taking the time to listen and, and find out what struggles are uh, others are having. See, today is. Um, uh, I would, I want to mention that today is a World Mental Health Day. Today is a uh, oh. one of the today is uh, one of the most important day for our program, our department, World Mental Health Day. So, you know, it is. I think it goes along with uh, today's scripture study also that you know how we can bear each other as a Christian. Those who are depressed, those who are having anxiety, you know, those who are. Uh, thinking about ending their life, what we can do is that taking the time to listen and finding out what uh, what types of you know problem they are going through and be with them, just be with them and just lend our ear as you know uh, as a Christian is also enough to help uh, someone uh, you know uh, coming out from their um, uh, problem, mental health problem. So um, <clears throat> thank you so much uh, for mentioning those things. And uh, we will go to the next point. Um, uh, the next point is that, um, you know, if you have uh, any, um, you know, any uh, testimony or sharing that you want to say regarding, you know, whose words have most encouraged you when you are down or discouraged or as an EGF, who might need encouragement uh, as an EGF member who might need encouragement that we that we have been overlooking. Uh, so uh, those two, I think uh, uh, we can answer it or we can share it uh, together. Uh, you know, who have encouraged you the most when you are feeling low and when you are feeling down. Uh, you know, some of what if you can give me uh, an example of you know people words that encourage you uh, to get up uh, from your present situation 
uh, you know, if you can share it, I think it will be very good. Okay, sister, I have a, a fresh one. <laughs> Go ahead. Yes. Uh, me and my husband, we were uh, COVID positive uh, just a few weeks back, and we received so much uh, words of encouragement and prayer from our fellow EGFs that really uplifted our, our, our spirit. It's not just for the sake of saying it, especially for me, uh, you know, I developed symptoms very late. Um, only on the seventh or eighth day, I started having problem and uh, on the ninth day, my voice cannot even come out and uh like i uh you know <clears throat> i was very afraid that i will be in the serious category uh, so mm, it uh you know it's very when you are sick physically it's very difficult to uh, pray and even concentrate because of the medications that you're taking also you're always drowsy and it's very difficult to concentrate uh in reading the bible also even in your own personal prayer it's very difficult uh, that is what I find out uh, when you're physically sick. So, you know, to know that people are praying for us and, uh, you know, uh, to know that people are uh, taking care of us, sending us uh, things, uh, it was, uh, you know, it was really uplifting. And uh, I cannot thank enough, especially for our staff workers, I should say, uh, you know, Twice they have given me uh, their home cooked meal uh, all the way from Isol. They came to Falcon and they gave, uh, especially when I was having, uh, I cannot eat anything. So I, I and that is th one thing that I will always remember. Uh, I told them also throughout my life, I will remember that. Yes, uh, that personal care. You know, the uh, one thing which is very, very attractive about uh, the UESI ministry is the personal care that um, we receive you know from my part i i'm i'm uh, i lack that so much I, and i i feel embarrassed to say this topic also because i i don't uh, give enough i don't pray enough or i don't uh, encourage people enough and this bible study is really uh, it's an eye opening and it's uh, motivating also so i think uh, as a ministry also this is one thing that we really need to uh, give more emphasis Yes, thank you. Uh, thank you continue. so much, sister. I want to and continue. Uh, yes, 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 please go ahead. When, when it was broadcast that, you know, we both uh, were suffering from COVID, and I also, Dr. Malsomi immediately called me, and uh, she said, we've been praying for you and what you were doing, and she said, you know, you'll be fine and all that. So that really meant a lot to me, myself. She being a senior, she one of the founders of the ICU and the UESI really, you know, took great form because of her many years ago. She immediately called me over the phone and assured me that uh, she will pray. And that is uh, really encouraging when uh, we know that we suffered from one of the most deadly diseases in modern times. And I'm so happy. Yeah, I just want to share that. And I was so happy, so glad uh, to be on the receiving end of that kind of phone call. Thank you so much, uh, Brother Mark and Sister Lanpui, for such a wonderful setting. And, you know, it was very encouraging, uh, you know, to see that a small act, a small deed of kindness can have that kind of impact to other people. You know, it's very, uh, very encouraging, very motivating. Thank you so much for uh, sharing that. And uh, if you have any, uh, any more brother and sister who wants to share uh, uh, regarding in this, uh, regarding this question i think this three uh, number three question i think we have to think in in our own heart and you know uh, as we uh, as we go from here i think uh, we should uh, look into uh, egf member who might need encouragement that we have been overlooking even in our own local units or even uh, as uh, you know as as uh, um, uh, sec leader also or you know as an advisor or a mentor also we might have overlooked someone who who need encouragement so i think uh, we don't have to answer this one i think this is uh, you know just to uh, ask ourselves is there anyone who needs who might need this encouragement uh, from uh, within our uesi ministry so uh, please continue with uh, question number 2 if you have anything that you can share regarding this uh, point i think 
Uh, we still have a little bit of time. Yes, yes, sister. Yes, brother, go ahead. <laughs> I want to try. Yes, yes, yes. Try, uh, try again. I'll speak slowly. I, I, I will speak slowly. I hope you be just fine. So, uh, I think, uh, yes, thank you for telling yourself. Yeah, I was about to say that. Um, there are many people uh, who are a little bit uh, introvert, like uh, Russell said that he was one, but he was uh, improving so much. Uh, for me, I think you can say I am one type uh, in the staff. Brother Zote. Okay, am I audible? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yes, am I audible? Yes, yes, go ahead. Okay. Mm. Uh, once uh, I was break down, I mean, break down, not physically. So for me, uh, I did not share my burdens to anyone. I had courage to share to anyone. So what helped me out of my burden is time I was not Kalapian, uh, but uh, my was Kohan uh, Upa. So we are growing up in a very um, good uh, family. We are learning the Bibles. I mean, we have um, that kind of uh, religious thing that helped me. And Brother Zote, can you hear? Uh, yes. Yes, yes. Am I audible? Yes. yes, please go ahead. So, uh, let me see, so. mm, Yes, yes, no problem. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. I think Brother Mara will understand. So, um, did you want to share? Did you share ngam ka na ito? Okay. Chung ko po share lawa. Katrian. ซาม Brother Zote? Hello? Yeah. Brother Zote, can you hear us? Oh, let take the MO. Oh, oh, Tikan, Tikan, can you let take it? Oh, did you want me Bible share? It's on Zana, come in book, the sermon he released, Kasiem, the John. ตามมันไงค่ะค่ะจะสุขกันตอนเนี่ยจนตุนหัวกับเปียร์นูกับเทียนทาร์จูวัชแมนตามมันกับไงค่ะกับจังอินมานี่จักนาเอ่อจักน
ตัวเอ่อเบดันตอปกันดินไลปออมินติจักไทตัวอันนี้เวกันนี่ดีค่ะอีเราสอยาอัชชากติตักเซตาอีวินยาอีกันไบเบิลจางอ่าจีเรเ
oh, it's the consultation. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, like over the jury or so. Yes. Mm. And mm. So you say that uh, the NGO will come into realization soon. Mm. Okay. Is there anything else? Okay, brother. Um, yesterday uh, was my 25th birthday, so I celebrated. Oh, yeah. happy birthday! So, <laughs> yeah. Yes, please. Thank with me that experiencing his grace, his goodness and faithfulness throughout the years. And I've met so many good friends, brothers and sisters. So I need to pray for me that I will you know, keep striving and keep working. Yes, for the Lord, mm -hmm. for my life. Wonderful. All right. Uh, I think we can we can all see the screen. So praise God for the uh, protection during this time, for the opportunity, Bible study, for those who are present here, for brothers and sisters who are recovering, including brother James' family and sister Carmelita herself also. But brother James' wife, sister Tuonga, is still suffering from COVID. So let's pray for that. Brother James, our secretary of SEC, let's pray for all the SEG members. Many of them are very busy in our profession. And brother Zuya, brother Sangha's family also, sister Rodfeli, very busy. He's a Maryland in charge of the team uh, fighting pandemic in Siha Vaipi, Vengpui area for the synchronous study that was held, that has been held, always very successful. And for a staff couple for the uh, Northeast One Day Conference to be held, uh, this one is uh, uh, USI Northeast, uh, this one, number eight, also very important, graduate level. This is graduate conference. So let's pray for Brother Peter, po tested positive. Unfortunately, we heard that news, but let us pray that God will heal him quickly and swiftly, completely. Let's pray for all those who are affected. And here, let me put uh, Sister Tuongi, Tuongi, Brother James' wife. James' wife, right? And all our members working in the front line Sister Pui will also be joining back to the hospital tomorrow. And then our new coordinator, one person has applied for this new coordinator post. Let us pray that uh, we'll, we'll get the right person. And let's pray for Sister Carmelita's cousin, uh, Pumwan Puya, who just passed away due to stroke. And uh, this is uh, Sister Marilyn's best friend, Christina. Uh, her nephew fell off a balcony and is in critical condition. Let's pray for that. Is there anything else? And we thank the Lord for the, what is that? A consultation? Yeah, for your consultation. Yeah, it's written. Oh, for the, yes, yes. For the, yes, consultation that was held last night. Very successful. Brother Mara also joined from WhatsApp somehow. <laughs> yeah, sending the points. And Sister Marilyn also, and Siha also, we did a great job with all our contribution. The, the result will come out. The consultation report will come out very soon. And let's pray that in all of the districts, also, we can have EGF uh, at least um, contact center or EGF unit, like Tenzo, uh, um, Serchip, Jampai, and uh, not Hill area. Those are our main focus area right now, okay? So let's pray for those districts that do not have yet. All right, shall we pray then? Yes. Brother Mara. Could I request you to end? Or brother, oh, I think brother Ram, Ramtea is here. Still, brother Ramtea? Can you hear? Yes, brother. All right, your signal is a little better, I think. So I will ask you to conclude this prayer, okay? Would you? Uh, yes, brother. We have been facing unstable internet connectivity. I am not reluctant, however, mm. uh, true can you conclude it from here and because see you okay. understand uh brother Zotia's connection I'm all right the same sure 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 thank you then we will appoint brother mara also uh if anything falls off i mean does not go as planned i will conclude also but brother mara your signal is better 
Okay, sure, brother. Okay. Yes, I'm, I'm outside. It's okay. Okay, all right. So I'll keep the prayer points here. You can open your, and then you can praise. Okay, let's all unmute ourselves and pray. Okay, unmute ourselves and pray. Thank you so much for um, giving us another wonderful opportunity to study your word and to come together in this manner uh, to have um, mass prayer. God, thank you so much for bringing us uh, this much member in our midst. And God, thank you so much um, for leading us into a uh, wonderful Bible study from the book of Letters from Romans chapter 6. Thank you for the Thank you for uh, that Bible study and help us to, uh, you know, help us, uh, to, um, to be a better uh, motivator and to be a better manager uh, for the people around us and help us also uh, help us to be humble ourselves uh, to, uh, to receive advice and to receive um, good words from other people and God, uh, please uh, help us to open our hearts to in all his glory and the advice that we receive rescue of the soul you may also be able to reach out help thank you for giving us all of us to giving us into recently successful we pray your name, uh, our Father, brothers and sisters whom we prayed for recovered, 19 coming to the We pray for the conclusion of the Tuesday of consultation that we have last year. We pray your name, God, we pray that you will be able to set up the right context in the future. We pray for the right of the right of the right. We pray for your name, Father, because also want to thank you to all the SECF members who are present here and who are present here for them to continue to meet them, them wherever they are, help their families, whatever problem that they are going to be with them, so that they will be motivated and also uplifted in the time of the family.
Okay, we pray for all the prayers that are in her heart to be able to overcome this situation. Also for the a new coordinator and the coordinator and Lord and the subscriber. And he also gives us a dynamic, dedicated, motivated, small district, small size of population friends will not suffer more. ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがと
the word of God as you word has a lot commanded us. O Lord, help us, strengthen us, that we may bear it, O Lord, other, and build each other up, so that we all may build Lord in our faith. Help us, above all, to please you, O Lord. This is our prayer today. Thank you so much for the meaningful and blessed time that you have played. We are looking forward, O oh Lord, beautiful time like this, where SGGF members and other loving brothers and sisters from Mizoram, where we could come together in this manner, O oh Lord, and to study your words for our lives. We commit all our prayers, praise points in our lives unto you, care. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, brother. Thank you, sister. Everyone, let's take a picture one more time. Can we? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. I'm so happy that we have a good connection today. <laughs> yeah. right, right. <laughs> Thank you so much, brother Mara, brother Ramteya. Brother Ramte and Brother Mara looks like just like brothers, right? Yeah. <laughs> brother Ramte, nice to see your face. <laughs> right. Sister Merlin. Yes. Uh, uh, I am, uh, you know, your, sorry, your cousin, Zebadi, you know. Oh, yes, yes, my cousin brother. <laughs> so he's, a, oh. uh, he's my close friend. So oh. we have to him. Such a small world. <laughs> Nice yeah. to meet you. Uh -huh. Your relatives. No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We are one relatives. Yes. You led so well. You know, I wish more people would can, could come, but I think we had a very nice discussion. Great. So, Always. yeah, we are not lonely at all. And, yeah, though we no. you, you led Thank so you, well. Sister. So good. The team of CIA EGF is always, uh, you know, quality over quantity. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> today is also about quality. So, thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Thank okay, you. Then. Right. Bye, 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 everyone. Bye, bye. Take care. Bye, bye. Take good care.